the spiked club, the bludgeoning tool of the ages, both ancient and recent, a tool of pure terror, a weapon of pure nightmare. Hello, it's Owen here, and today I'll be showing you how to make this spiked club out of foam while maintaining a realistic paint job and finish. A little history about this bludgeoning device, it was the primary symbol of medieval sieges and battles, but its use was used centuries thereafter, like the common trench raiding tool of the First World War. Also, the reason why I made this video is because I needed a trench raiding tool for my World War I impression that's safe to use. Also, the inspiration I got from this was from Battlefield 1, the Spike Club. Anyways, to get this project started, you will need the following materials. You can find these materials at arts and craft stores, and even hardware stores, or you can just buy them online. Step 1. Find a wooden dowel of choice. Make sure it's around 3 quarters to a half inch in diameter, and at most 20 inches in length. This is what I usually use, but it's up to you depending on measurements. Step 2. Wrap the crafting foam around the top half of your dowel at least half. I tend to wrap a half inch more or less depending on the style. Use hot glue to fix in place or super glue. After that, add another layer of foam following the same procedure, but make sure this foam is a bit longer so it can wrap around the first layer of foam. Step 3. Start painting layers of burnt umber and crimson red paint on the foam. There's a special step before this you can do, which is adding a layer of liquid latex. This is a special substance that hardens into a stretchy rubber, Whee. and it's usually used to make Halloween masks. But for this, it creates a wood grain texture as well as a solid base for the paint. At least paint on four layers before you use the next step. After the paint is dry, use a sharpie permanent pen to draw lines vertically along the painted foam. Then paint on some more layers while using the sharpie method in between each layer. This will give the final effect of bold wood grain which will look realistic. Our next step is to make a handle out of the selected rope. At the bottom of the foam wrap, glue down one end of the rope and start wrapping it down the handle. This is also the proper time to add a lanyard if that's what you want. At the end of the handle, glue it down similarly to the start of the rope. This so far, our club is taking shape, but it's not the true horror of melee warfare without the spikes, so let's make some. Grab your workout foam and draw out these spikes. Make sure the widest part of the spike matches the width of the foam. You should have 15 spikes, 14 of which are the same, and the remaining one to be the top spike. Use an X-Acto knife or some sharp scissors to cut out the spikes. Next, we shave the sharp edges down to create the rounded effect like so, if you want. Do this for all 15 spikes. The next step is optional but recommended. Use super glue to coat the foam spikes. This gives it a stiffened effect and it keeps the shape over time. Now this is what prop makers actually use if they want to keep pointy parts of their props stiff. Finally, when you have the super glue painted on all the spikes, you know what to do with that black paint. And When you have all the spikes done and they're all dry, mark the places on the club as shown so you know where to glue them. Use super glue.
Now it's time to use the second best substance on Earth, <coughs> Rub and Buff Wax. This wax can be distributed over a large space with a small amount, so when coating the tips of your spikes, be sure to use at most the drop the size of a corn kernel. If that doesn't last for all the spikes, then use dime size. So there you have it, the spike club is complete. Of course you could add other aesthetics, like adding railroad heads instead of spikes, using a dark red paint for blood and such. I hope you learned a thing or two while watching this video. If you have any questions, please comment below. Also in the comments, you could suggest to me what I should make next on this channel. And as always, like, subscribe, and I'll post more videos like this. Thank you, good night. I was expecting that, so I kicked it.